Hey guys, it's Street Pastor Jenny here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we made our way through the rock tunnel and just battled a bunch of random NPCs while leveling up our Pokemon. Well, only the two Pokemon I have. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna get out of here and move on to brighter and better futures. By dodging that scientist, we don't even need him. And I believe you are skippable, and I believe you're skippable as well. The fun. Um, one thing I do need to mention is, um, um, in Leaf Green, I talked about how the new Pokemon in, I believe, the new... No, I, I did not want to fight it! Okay, um, back to what I was saying, um... Um, one of the Pokemon on my bios in Leaf Green's episode, latest episode, and this is in the future, don't even worry about it. Anyway, I'm pro right there, just a big... it's just a selling item. But, um, what I mean to say is, um... The bio for Voltex, I explained how, why getting it is a little kind of ripping off in, in a way. I kind of messed it up because I think I was saying it was like attack and it was like... I don't know, I, I messed up, so basically what happened is... Voltex and Ninetail, all they're really going for is speed and special defense, and in the original game, um, special defense was never a thing, I believe it was just special attack. So that's what made it good, but since special defense got added in this game, that's what, um, that's what, um, cheaped out, um, nine tails. There. It's not, and I can't really blame myself for not getting it right off the top of the head. Anyway, one required, ba one required battle, and I'll show this one, because I'm actually not going to be doing that much battles for most of this game. I mean, for, not most, I mean, throughout the rest of the battles for Fire Red, I'm not really going to be doing much just seeing how my for, my only two Pokemon are, like, pretty overpowered. So, to keep things, I guess, a little simple, I'll not, I won't battle too much. Ah, good to send out Pikachu and just roast a Pidgey. Oh, and you better not have that issue in League Green where, like, we run into the trainer and we get out of the cave. I'm gonna go straight shot to Lavender Town. Okay, Pikachu, you're almost there, come on. Um, just stand. Uh, tomorrow I start high school. And right now, I'm like, I feel like a double-edged sword right now, because I don't want to go there, while well, at the same time I do, just to see all my friends again. Because, like, at this point now in life, all you really go- like, the reason why some kids like going back to school nowadays is just to see all their friends, not even, like, enjoy school. I mean, there are those few who do enjoy school, which I find really weird. Well, not too weird, just okay. But, yeah. Anyway, head down, that's the uh, exit. Alright. Let us get out of here, I'm done with this place. And seriously, Pikachu, you got poisoned. Drowsy, you're not gonna be much- you're not gonna be much of use any longer. Alright, route. Route 10. Screw you, picnic girl girl! Anyway, NetApp Barry right there. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's has head to Lavender Town. This guy isn't even like a trainer. Oh, wait, why? This guy isn't even a trainer. Talk to him like an idiot. Oh, no. Cutting. I hate you. You know what? I jinxed myself. Oh yeah, let's not run into that trainer thing while we leave the rock tunnel. Guess what happens? 
And this time it wasn't even like he noticed me. It was me being stupid and talking to him. Ugh. So dumb. Just, ugh. What do you gotta say? Team Rocket will do anything, anything for the sake of money. Hmm, sounds like a lot of people today. There is no job dirt. There is no job too dirty, no deed too hideous, no crime too wicked. Nice vocabulary. Alright, let's just get Drowsy. I did not want to withdraw. Let's just get Drowsy out of my team, because we don't need you anymore. Failure. Um. Let's see. Eh, for the sake of it, I'll just take the Diglett with us. Just that way, if something terrible happens to my two mains, at least I can throw the Diglett out for some use. Alright, now that we're in Lavender Town, we never really got to explore a town like in Le like we did in Lake Green. So this is the volunteering. Wait, Jesus, let me go read again. I didn't even... Yeah, it's the volunteer house. Let's see. That odd Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Pokemon Fan Magazine Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is... Gone. It's been clipped out. Somebody must have already applied, or applied already. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. Um, okay. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. That's a nice guy. Although, his place looks like a Pokemon daycare. So warm, and so nice to hug. A Psyduck? Are you for real? Oh my gosh, why would this kid, like, hug a Psyduck? Unless he's trying to be Misty now. You... This town is known as the Gray Side of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Now, Pokemon Tower is a dungeon that we could go for to now or later. There is an optional boss there. He'll still be there if we choose to do something else, but yeah. Actually, he's required, so he'll always be there no matter what you do, so... But now this is when the game starts to, what I, which I like, is diverge. And where you can't go south here because there's a Snorlax blocking the road. So we only have two choices, which is either... Oh, well, I mean, we don't really have two choices. And we can't go on Pokemon Tower yet because something's going to block us. Just spoiling it, that right there. So our only bet is to go to Route 8. Which in Route 8, there's only one new Pokemon, which is... Is Growlithe. Growlithe is a good fire type for the team. It also has great attack and speed and plus special attack as well. Can't forget that. It also has the abilities um, of Fire Flash, which powers up fire attacks. When I mean fire, yeah, it does. And then there's Intimidate, which also lowers the um, opponent's attack, which is very, very useful. In order to involve Growlithe, though, you do need a Fire Stone. So yeah, there's that as well. Besides all that, pretty, pretty good Pokemon. Can learn a lot of great moves closer to the end of the game, and really brings out the team, if you know how to pretty much use it. I, on one hand, know how to. Now that you know the one new Pokemon in Route 8, we are not gonna catch it. We're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna move on, and go past this route. Because, as in Lake Green, we didn't mess up. We didn't, um, jeez. We only caught one Pokemon and ran back to Lavender Town because, uh. And there's a new Pokemon that itself the guy has, which is Growlithe. Oh, seriously, why? No, don't! Oh my gosh. Oh, there's... Oh. 
That move that growl the growl just use on me now, it only makes it to where if you have a ghost type Pokemon and there's a ghost type Pokemon out in the field because normal types cannot attack ghost types because well they're ghosts, they can pass through. Using that move will allow you to attack them, so yeah. And then there's the leak green exclusive Volpex. I'm just trying to get rid of them fast, so that way we can move on and Pikachu you missed! Will-O-Wisp will automatically burn, no matter what. Oh, and that comes my attack. And then you put the quick attack on it. Critical hit! Wow, that- my attack half is for nothing now. Okay, good. Now let's just get out of here, I ain't messing around. Alright, I see... Trainers galore. Nothing up there. Oh, and then look at this. Could, that's just like such a trap. Like, I don't even know who designed that, but that's kind of funny. But at the same time, wow, what a trap. It's just a way to like fight more trainers. I might do it off screen. Or not, because I'm too overleveled. So, for now, I'm just gonna skip a few of you guys. We can't go here, because that's the entrance to Saffron City once again. And so, with doing this, we have another... Wait, where are you? Oh, come on! Dude! Let's play a game! A game of, you can't, you can't spot the NPC! Oh, you jerk! If for, for those who know and watch the, the older vid- like some of my older older videos, you know why I called this guy a jerk. <laughs> but at least he's in my Pokedex now, so I can probably look at it. Alright. Oh, come on! Dude, are you in for like rubbing into my face? Oh, he's totally doing it! He's just totally rubbing it in my face! He's just like, look at this one Pokémon that I have that you probably couldn't have because you explained to your audience that you couldn't catch it because of your stupidity and idiotics. He's rubbing it, and I swear, his last Pokémon's a Poliwag, he's... Oh, that's making it worse! The jerk! He's just like... It's like I got a cut, and he's just rubbing dirt on my cut to make it terrible. I... I don't like this guy. He needs to die... immediately! Even though I want the Pokémon! Anyway, Pikachu is now level 29, which still learns nothing new. Gamer Stan, screw you! The jerk! Well... no... Now I can look it up. And I should just like use um should have just used this. No. No. There we go. Next. Dang. And this is through all fishing. Let me check you. Nope, you're the same. That's like the only time you'll ever see me do that, by the way. Alright, let's see. Now, town map, there we go. Right here. Yeah, that's... Yeah, all those spots he, they just showed us are through fishing. Alright, well now that that's all taken care of, don't want to go up to you, because I know you're a trainer battle. Yeah, jerk move. Hey, here we go. We got ourselves another underground path. There we go. I stopped right there for a second because I thought the audio cut out. Um, I believe there are still like a bunch of hidden items in the area. So, yeah, I believe that's a thing. And what else? I don't think there's actually a... Um, an oak's assistant. And um, by the way, once we go back through here, all right, I had to stop because something. I had to like stop my character's movement because I had something happen to me. Yeah. Jeez. 
Jeez. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared out near Celadon City too. Yeah, so there we go. All right. In Route Seven, there's there's another entrance to Saffron City. So we've seen all the entrances of the Word Go Saffron City, which the guard there will tell us no because he's mean. Whatever. I don't believe there is any Merman Candy spot, because I will find it. No? Okay. Anyway, head up here, and we are now in Celadon City. And listen to this music. Ribbit, ribbit. A polyrath does not sound like a fro- No. I want everybody to go watch the anime episode where wherever polywath or polywag is, and tell me, do they sound like a frog? In fact, I want one person, I don't care who it is, to do that. Arg, ow, I, I scout. I scaled my tongue? This nice old lady in the ma mansion gave me some tea. It was hot. It was boiling hot. Hot. Gotta cool it down and drink it. Okay, cool. Um, that guy did reference something in this house, which is known as the Pokemon Mansion. Well, actually, no, it's just a mansion. It's called- yeah, it's the Celadon Mansion, not the Pokemon Mansion. I just spoiled something. She talks about we shouldn't spend all our money and instead take this, and it's tea. Now those guards will not will not be super evil on us and tell us that we have to go somewhere else. Um, there's a lot of buildings in Celadon City and their big and their biggest shop yet, the um Celadon City department the department store, which has a bajillion lots of items and where most of the TMs are. Um, I believe there's something here for us that we can get. And the game could just have good quality. Alright, um... Yeah, there's nothing really here for us. So, let me just cut down to where we need to go. Alright, so where we really need to go is go right here. And head to the back entrance of the Pokemon. I mean, the Celadon Mansion. No, don't. Okay, there we go. Alright, then we need to head down right here, because we're on the roof of the Celadon, the Celadon Mansion, by the way, and. By the way, that's why you, we had to go through the back entrance, because this wall would be blocking us. And in this building, I believe... The I Know Everything building. See why he's... See why he fenced it off. Anyway, let's see what this guy has to teach us. There is nothing that I don't know. I wrote on the blackboard. I know about the world of Pokemon and your Game Boy Advance fourth bro fourth wall breaking. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokemon. It's a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 TMs in all that gets changed later on. And I mean like in later on gems. Gens of the game. There are also seven HMs that can be used repeatedly. Silvco. Foreshadowing, by the way. Anyway, talk to this Pokeball right here, and you obtained an Eevee. Um, I did not actually want to name this Pokemon. Now, um, Eevee itself, uh, as soon as I get out of this thing. There we go. Um, I'll let the bio do all the talking for Eevee.
now Eevee here has, as you see, three evolutions with three stones, of course. Rule number one about using Eevee, never make it a Flareon. Trust me, it becomes a chore to do because of just how its stats don't work. And like most of the moves it usually gets, you probably need TMs because you'll find better. But trust me, just don't use Flareon, even though I know my friend used it and beat the game with it. He still had a challenge though, but he made it through. Just don't use Flareon if you want, unless you know how to use it. That's all I can say. Other than that, Jolteon's pretty fast and learns some great moves as well. And everyone ends up choosing Vaporeon because of the great stats and moves it gets as well. Pretty much your choice there, and it's ability run away, one of my favorites about Eevee. Let you escape any battle. Have fun with it, but just if you want to get Flare on, you better know what you're doing. And now that you know why Eevee is kind of a good Pokemon, slash bad the way you choose, go down all the way to the left where you exit at the um, Pokemon, the Celadon! I'm gonna have fun! The Celadon Mansion, sorry. Um. Egg, head all the way to the left and you get yourself an Aether. There we go. Nothing here, which is really dumb. Okay, now that we're done with that, we want to just... Move on. And... Yeah. Here's, um, Celadon Department Store. Or known as Celadon Deprept Store. I don't know. I always liked reading that when I was, like, a, a kid. You can see how big this place is. Even the kid running around the fountain. I got my coughing instant at bar. It's usually nice, but it's breeze poison when it's angry. I don't know how a little girl likes that, and I don't even know how her, her parents are all like, uh, is that safe for you? Alright, now that we're done here, if we continue going out this way. You see there's a Snorlax, so yeah. There is a way we, there's there is a way we can cut there, but we don't really need to worry about that. This patch of water right there we can't deal with yet. Here is the game corner. The game corner is for grown-ups only, they say, but. Um, are you Oh what am I to do? Someone stole our silv scope. The thief came running this way, I'm sure of it! But I lost sight of him. Where, where'd he go? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's go to the game counter. And as you can see here, pretty much gambling. Um, welcome to the Rocket Game Counter. Oh no. Do you need some game coins? Would you like to buy some? Yes, this is where you trade money for coins, but I will not do that, by the way. Welcome, you can exchange um, your coins for fabulous prizes next door. Um, so this is like where you do all the arcading stuff, and then like in the next building, the building next to it is um the prize center. There we go. A coin case is required. Oh, wow, they won't even... Okay, I know my way around this. I believe we just want to go down to one of the random houses, and they will give us... A coin case. I believe it is this guy right there. If, I'm, I'm, if it's not, then... I don't know. No more slots for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Yep, I was correct. Here we go. Alright, now let's go check out the prizes in the, um, count- in the prize center, and then I'll call the day. Lagging. Alright. Yeah, even though we have nothing, as long as we show them the case of whatever we have, it counts as of them letting us see what we want. Anyway, this guy sells Pokemon. So yeah, Team Rocket, pretty deadly. 
Anyway, they got Abra, Clefairy, Dratini, Cypher, Porygon. I'm debating. Like, the reason why I didn't really do this episode so early was because I was debating whether I should even do three bios for three Pokemon we don't know yet. But, um, the guy on the right sells five TMs. Believe oh, they don't even. Tell me. Okay, no, never mind. TM13 is Ice Beam, and I'll show off all of them. TM23, Iron Tail. That's pretty good. Um, TM24, Thunderbolt, which I already have. Um, TM30, Shadow Ball. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually, actually getting into this. Um, TM13, Ice Beam, shoot, is pretty good ice. Ice type attack, and it can sometimes freeze the enemy. Um, what is TM35? TM35, flamethrower, the same thing as Ice Beam, pretty good, and can also cause burn. And I believe this guy just sells um, items. Mystic Water is a pretty good Pokemon. So is Charcoal, and so is Mystic Sea. They're basically um, what am I trying to say here? They're basically items that raise up Grass, Fire, and Water moves. A lot by a lot so that's good um but now into more crap here are the three Pokemon new ones that I'm gonna have to do so their bios for Dratini, Scyther, and Porygon now Dratini here is fun fact the only dragon type throughout the whole entire game until next later gens well originally um the Pokemon Gyarados was supposed to be Water Dragon type, but in this game, it's Water Flying type. Explain how that works. But, um, basically, Dratini, if, um, later on, once when it evolves, it turns into a very great Pokemon. But let me tell you right now, if you're gonna use it, it takes a lot of levels. And plus, in Fire Red, you better have a great way to get coins. On the other hand, Leaf Green users get a pretty good share of it. And its ability, um, Shed Skin, allows it to... Has a Pokemon 30% chance of healing status when, when inflicted, so that's pretty good. Other than that, though, you better find a way to get a lot of good coins and a lot of level grind. Next up is Scyther. Scyther being bug flying type does hold to a lot of weaknesses, but it does make up, it makes that up with great attack and special attack. Thanks. Buggiest from the second gen destroying my Chikorita. Uh, sorry, that's just some past up um, spell. Anyway, um, one thing to note off is that Scyther is a Fire Red exclusive, so don't even try going for it in Leak Green. Leak Green users do get something a little better about it, though. Um, its evolution is not in this first gen, it is through trade in the second gen, which is pretty good. It, um, takes. 5,500 coins to get, and its ability Swarm basically boosts its HP by 1.5 when when below one third one third of its HP. Besides that, better find a good way to get coins because getting coins in this game is not easy. Now the last one here is Porygon, which is a normal type, but its um yeah, evolution is only in the second gen. And basically, this is a confusing one. I remember at least is which is um, it it's through trade it's through trade, but it has to be holding the item the item called upgrade, which basically allows it to evolve into Porygon too. You can tell it's an upgrade because you know, a lot smoother. You know, it doesn't look like Windows XP anyway. Um, yeah, that's just something confusing. Its ability trace is. Pretty handy. Basically, allows you to copy any ability in the game. Be careful though, because some abilities will kill you about it. It does take a lot of coins in Fire Red, but in Leak Green, Leak Green users get the fair share of it, and it is actually the first, well, one out of two Pokemon that are completely genderless. Also, I think the legendaries are completely genderless. Yeah, they count as well, so scratch that idea. Besides that, Pretty good Pokemon if you know how to use it. Also, and also, I believe its second evolution in like later gens becomes normal slash psychic or just psychic. I don't know. Someone can explain that. I'll let you know about Cypher, Dratini, and Porygon. 
we're gonna end this video off. Next time on Pokemon Fire Red. We will look for that scientist's oscilloscopes, because apparently they seem pretty important. And we, ha we also have to figure out why Team Rocket's in Celadon City, because if you didn't notice, it's an indiscretion. I mean, yeah, you get the drill. Anyways, I will see you guys then.